Hello YouTube, this is Philip 20 with Solar Power Electricity and Electronics and I'm going to talk about a little bit of electronics today. What you see here is in front of you is 1.5 amps at 115.7 volts. This is running off of my solar currently. This is my standard television. I'm going to back up and show you a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so this is the back of my 40 inch Sony television. This is an older television. Uh, it's getting close to 10 years old. It's not 10 years old yet, but it's very close to it. And uh, the power consumption is way up there. So um, I want to try to bring the power consumption down as much as possible in my house. And I've been looking at the uh, majority of appliances that is regularly used. And by far, this television is used 90% more than anything in the house. So, I want you guys to know that I was like, hey, it's uh, consuming power. So, this is what I want to do. I wanted to show you the power consumption of the current television. And I'm going to switch to a new television. I'm not going to name the brand because, you know, it's not that big a deal. I'm not trying to, you know, tell anybody what brand to get. But, uh, you know, I wanted to get something slightly bigger and more efficient. So, I did some math. I was at Walmart today. And I've been thinking about this television consuming this power for a long time. Now, you, you can do the math with what it was before. Um, I will link it in the description below what it actually is. And I'm going to link the description below what the new one is. Now, I did turn all of the energy efficiency off on this television directly. I usually ran it on low, and it uh, dropped it down to 1.3 amps, I think. And it's probably about uh, very close to the same voltage. So, you're looking at that situation. Okay, so... So, we're looking at that situation. And we want to make sure that we save as much energy on the things that we use the most. Currently, this device is the most used in the house. Uh, and I'm, I think it's due. Um, it's an older television. It, you know, is per served its purpose. I won't throw it away. I'll put it in the children's room whenever, you know they get a little bit bigger and have enough responsibility to turn on and off stuff. So, being that that said, I wanted you to see our power consumption. So, I want you guys to look into it as well. So, let's get started with the new television and I'll have it up and going right now. One more thing I forgot to mention was heat from this television. This television gets really warm. Um, in in all perspective, it gets so hot that the ceiling gets really, really hot. This TV is normally on for about 10 hours a day or so because uh, my kids play it. Then I watch it. Then when my wife gets off work, she watches it. So you're going to look at a situation where it's going to be getting hot indefinitely. So I want to show you the infrared. Okay. And it says, right there, you see that? That's hot. So you can see that that television is getting real hot. Now, that's just the surface temperature. That's not air temperature rising off of it. The air temperature rising off of it is hitting the ceiling. Do you see that? Look at that ceiling. It's so hot. It's hard to believe. Uh, majority of that could be also poor insulation. I'm pretty sure that my house has poor insulation. So I want you guys to see you're not only consuming electricity from the television, you're also including the electricity that's being consumed from the air conditioner. So remember, the air conditioner has to remove this heat. So, and this TV's been off for about five minutes. I've already started disassembling all the wires. And I went and got some wrenches as well to, so I can disconnect the cable. 
So I want you guys to see how much heat is still remaining in this television and your air conditioner has to remove that. So take in consideration in that whenever you shop for televisions. Okay YouTube, I've got this new TV up and I want to back out so you can see what it is. This is the amps of the exact same thing that was playing before. The video game was playing and now this is the same exact video game so it's a decent demonstration. Right now it's on 0.54 amps at 113.7 volts. I'll have uh, the calculation in the link, uh, the, dis the description below. So, and I'm going to have exactly how much we're saving from what we was before. So obviously we're using less power consumption at one amp, which is awesome. And nobody can say that, you know, less power is uh, better and uh, uh, worse. You know, nobody can say less power is worse. So, in all that perspective, you know. I still got these wires. They're not exactly cleaned up yet. I will clean all these wires up. I'll go ahead and back off. Um, I've been running this TV for about uh, 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour or so. Um, I got the thermal imager here. Okay, let's pull it up. And I'm going to show you what we're looking at. Okay, so you see that? We're looking at somewhere around that meter. Okay, so... You can already see we're making heat right there. It's 108 degrees Fahrenheit. But 90 degrees over there. That's really cooking right there already. So uh, it doesn't have as much heat as the other television. But it's okay. So, I mean, it's, it is what it is. I can't say that. You know anything you know everything's better than nothing but you can see this thing's getting hot right there you know and that, that kind of sucks I mean I was hoping that it was gonna be cool but it's not this is you know the way it is so this is what I wanted to show you guys you know not just got to consider a uh, consider you know your uh, energy uh, that you're consuming you got to consider are you gonna air condition the air that that device is in and does it get hot so, not to mention, you know, the heat output, but also the power consumption of it. So, you know, you don't want your house to be hot, and you don't want uh, a ton of stuff to get hot. I'm going to feel right here, and I can feel it. It's hot right here. It's definitely hot, you know. But on the other TV, the whole top of it was very, very hot. So, I just wanted you guys to see the difference between that uh, itself. So, I should save some. I mean, before, I was venting heat out the top. I mean, the whole top of that thing was 110 degrees or so all the time. So, I mean, and it was so hot coming out that it would hit the ceiling. You could put your hand above it and feel heat. But now, I don't feel... A lot of heat above it so I can I mean I don't feel any heat unless I actually put my hand on this right here where it is hot so it's okay um, I believe I'm gonna save a little bit of energy on my air conditioning and I believe I'm gonna save a little bit of energy on the uh, power consumption because uh, when I notice I'm at home and no matter what it so I just wanted to go over with what's going on with the power consumption. Um, you can see, I'll get close in again here. You know, we're at 0 0.52 amps and 113.7 volts. That is more than adequate for me. I'm really happy to see that that's, uh, you know, better because that's like 70 or 80 watts, maybe 90 watts. I mean, I'll have the uh, power consumption in the link in the description. Go check it out. And uh, also, I'm going to have a YouTube channel in the link in the description. His name is Yankee4, one of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube. Thanks, Yankee, for inspiring me to do YouTube videos. So, if you guys uh, like my stuff, you should like him because he inspired me to do it. And everybody, I want to say thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already subscribed, get subscribed now. Share this video. 
so we can get a lot more subscribers and get more videos coming out and also click that like button if you think it was good if it sucked hit that thumbs down button and I want you guys to ch stick around for the next deal we've got something else coming up about heat absorption from your home and ways to look for you know things that are hot and where to look for them so this is Phil 20 with solar power electricity and electronics and I'll heat and cool and save energy from you guys later